Let's cross now to Iris Mackler in Jerusalem. Iris, uh, what is the latest? We've seen um, a day, this is the final Friday of Ramadan, and we have seen a pattern that has been repeated previously, which is young Palestinian men sleeping overnight inside the mosque, attending the dawn prayer, and then riots erupt. Israel says it's because these young men throw rocks and firecrackers, including down at the uh, Jewish holy site below the Western Wall. We have seen footage of that today. We've also seen footage of them barricading themselves in the mosque and um, throwing rocks from in there. They say that they only did this because they were attacked. What we have seen <clears throat> after they were removed, there was a clean-up and 90,000 people uh, attended the noonday prayers today. There were 250,000 people uh, at a peaceful prayer on Wednesday night, Laylat al-Qadr, the night of power, the holiest night of Ramadan. That does give some support to the Israeli contention that this is a group of young men. It is not all the worshippers. It doesn't extend to everyone and that they have, they are, in, there is incitement from um, the Palestinian militant groups. But I have to say, if you're looking in, there are mornings when it looks like an exchange at a checkpoint and not a holy site. Iris, are these uh, protests likely to continue in the days ahead? Uh, Ramadan ends on Monday, uh, and that is, and after that, two days later is Israel's Independence Day. And here there is an assessment that perhaps things will calm down after that. But one source of friction, Annette, has been Jewish visits to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, and they resume after the end of Ramadan. I was down at the Al-Aqsa Mosque and I was speaking to young men who say that this is what upsets them now. They are frightened of the change that is taking place at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. They know about it from social media. Israel says it's incitement, but there is a real fear that the status quo is changing um, and we are going to see next week. Palestinian and Jordanian leaders meeting together to discuss how to restore something of the status quo, which, by the way, Israel says it doesn't want to change. Iris Makler reporting there from Jerusalem. Thank you.